Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be reacting to Amber Lynn's new video, which is called I'm Back, and I am super excited. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for being subscribed to this channel and watching my videos. You know, this YouTube journey of mine has been pretty wild up and down for the past like almost two years that I've been on my YouTube channel regularly, and I just wanted to say thank Thank you to you guys because October was my best month on YouTube ever. You would think it's always going up and up and up every month, but that's not always the case. So thank you guys so much for the support. I truly do appreciate it so much, each and every one of you guys. It has been just about a month or so since she last uploaded. The last word we got from her, of course, was that Minnie Mouse costume picture, as well as the community tab post where she was not exactly happy with her subscribers, but it appears that she has returned just in time for the beginning of November. Happy November 1st, everyone. So let's just go ahead and get right into it, shall we? Okay, it feels like it's super long time since we last sat down to react to one of these videos. You know, we've been truly invested in Foodie Booty's story recently, you know, almost to the point where I forgot about where we left off in the timeline of ALR. But here we are, she's back. You know, what exactly does she have in store for us? I don't know. Hey guys, so long time. Hey girl. No see, how are you guys doing? Um, how do you film? So it is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I know you guys are probably not seeing this on Halloween. Okay, so is she like a Puritan? Like, is this like the Salem Witch Trials era? Is she a pilgrim? What is she? But it is Halloween and I am Wednesday Adams. Oh. You guys don't know who that is? Uh, there duh. She... Okay, cue the duh comments in the comment section. She is. I'm sure most of you know who that is. I also dressed up as a Minnie Mouse, I want to say about a week ago or so. Yeah, we saw that one, girl. I went to Becky's sister's house where we all dressed up and we just had tons it was leaked to the press. It was a fun, so I'll show you that clip right here. I show you guys every year my Halloween costume. So I wanted to show you this year, I am Minnie Mouse. As you can see, let's do a little Minnie Mouse costume tour. We almost <laughs> missed it. So the last time, I don't really remember exactly what happened in the last video, but the last time she was posting on YouTube, it was just like a lot of shopping, so many Halloween decorations. We didn't really get to see Halloween to its fruition, so it's nice for her to give us that final wrap up. How was your guys' Halloween? What did you guys dress up as? I didn't dress up as anything except for the cowboy outfit a couple weeks ago, but you know, it is what it is. Strange year. Or, okay, see, I don't even remember how to vlog or film. Here we have obviously the ears. I decided to do the nose, I just got some red hoops for matching. Obviously, the gloves. They are way too big, but we're okay with that. We have her dress. Okay. Super cute. Look at the shoes. Okay, I have to say, nice attention to detail. I did see someone's comment that was like, Minnie Mouse, that's so lazy. All she did was draw like something on her face. She even got the shoes, girl. Come on, cut her a little bit of slack. I put bows. There's some details in there. It's like flipping no matter how much I try to fix it. At the end of my pigtails, and I have her yellow shoes, obviously. So yeah, I, uh, the elephant in the room, no pun intended. I would like to know what Becky was because you guys remember that picture. Okay, Becky was in it, but I have no idea what she was. Could have been some sort of anime character or something like that. I don't know. I have been gone for a while, about a month now. And I've always said and made announcements on YouTube that I am going to take a break and I'm going to leave YouTube. And I think from the very beginning of YouTube, and I've been on here for the last eight time that she came on and said that she was leaving, it was not received very well. Do you guys remember that video? I believe that was around last year, around September or something like that. And then she came back the next day. Eight years. Oh my God, it's gonna be eight years in November. So yeah, this month is gonna be eight years on YouTube. Wow, that is insane. And I have not been gone from YouTube this long before. I have said, oh, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gone for like three days, you know, I think the longest I haven't been on YouTube was 
probably two weeks um, unintentionally, but this has been intentionally. I have needed a time to really reflect on my life the decisions I've made. I feel like that's really important for her. I mean, a lot of people have told her over the years to finally take a break and try to get things sorted out a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think that's really important for her. I did notice she has like a ring light on and the picture quality looks nice. It looks more professional. And the things that I'm striving to do with my life and the person i was am and who i want to become i have nice. also been going through a lot of personal things which those don't need to be said i mean i'm just gonna outright tell you guys i have been going through some personal things that is not up to me to disclose also i have had a lot of just <laughs> mental you the conspiracy theories in the comments girl i mean we're still on that i did notice that she doesn't have her rebranded intro anymore the raya intro as i like to refer to it as at this point um so are we doing away with the rebranding is this a new rebranding could this be a more mature amber i'm not sure what do you guys think problems i know i said i didn't want to talk about that anymore but honestly that's stupid like this is my life and i have been really really sad lately i've it's been suffering life. with extreme anxiety and worry and i it's can just understand been that i mean a lot of people are going through the same thing right now for obvious reasons and many other reasons that aren't so obvious you know as side effects of the thing that's going on <laughs> blame youtube for that really bad I just have not been myself and I went through a point where I gave up on myself and is she talking about recently or 2019 because I always refer to like 2019 I feel like the hundred days of uploading era she was just at the absolute worst I feel like but she still managed to upload so many different kind of videos at the time so it's a very strange time this month has just felt so long but so short all at the same time and that's this entire year that is this entire year so long it's so short it kind of went by in like a blink of an eye i find myself sitting in bed just endlessly scrolling and you know the most important thing i think for a lot of us to do right now and i'm actually kind of proud of amberlyn for doing this is put the phone down stop scrolling and you know put something on whether that's youtube or um netflix or anything like that you know if that's the alternative to what you're doing you know of course like exercise or something like that would be like an even better option but put the phone down stop scrolling through the news and things like that especially if it's upsetting you and getting to you i know like when i i could spend i could get lost in twitter and it's so not good it's really not good because it's just people fighting about political things, things going on in the world. It seems so like, it seems so much like there's only two sides and it's so toxic right now. So I think for her to take that break, it's really a good time to do it. The time that she took because, you know, things are going to be over in a couple of days. I think things will settle down a little bit, maybe. I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about why I've been gone or why I'm back or I just don't know what to say. I have gotten so many people reaching out to me and you guys have been so sweet and kind. But then when I go to like the community posts that I posted here on YouTube, people are disgusting and vicious and I'm not here for those people. I never I wouldn't want to look people. through that either. I'm here for the people who care and who are supporters. And I understand that if I had a normal job, I probably wouldn't be able to be gone for a month. But it's it's so crazy. You know, it's almost 2021 and there are some different types of jobs. You get what I'm saying? Like she has you can make said that before. Money on TikTok. Like, what are you doing? Like That's living strange. In I need to become a TikToker. What do you guys think? Would you guys follow me on TikTok? I'm about to start TikToking. Is that what the cool kids say? I feel so out of touch life on tiktok having a wonderful time and also making income to 
live your best life. And I'm here on YouTube. That is how I keep a roof over my head. I am technically- I noticed that she is plugging her TikTok first thing in the description. So I guess she's coming back to TikTok. I know that she left for a little bit there, but I guess, you know, now that, the, now that TikTok is monetized, cause that's relatively recent and looks like she's back in the game. I'm sure that has no correlation at all. I actually was watching Trisha Paytas today and she said that she was making more money on TikTok than YouTube. Maybe Amber saw that as well. <laughs> My own boss. I never thought I could say that. Like that's honestly pretty freaking cool. And with the privilege that I have of being able to upload when I want, I just thought this last month was a perfect time for me to do me be me figure me out because in the beginning of October, i think it was i mean she does acknowledge you know that it is very you know fortunate that she is able to take a month off and you know still be able to pay her rent because a lot of people are not in that situation especially now you know they might have lost their job the last couple months so i do think that it was the right thing for her to do to take this break at this time i felt myself drifting away i wasn't feeling right um mentally and physically something was just really truly off i still don't know what it was i feel a million times better now but when that happened it gave me time to really think about my future and think about what i want and what i need going forward i know there's been a lot of conspiracies about what's going on you know is my cancer back the answer is no have becky and i have been okay. broken up the answer is no yeah oh <laughs> Am I still alive? Yes. You know, I wanted to pop in and update you guys and explain what I'm going through and what I was going through, but it's like, no, I wanted to be completely off social media. I have wanted to do that for so long and I just never did it. But ever since I she got did cancer take and the time to write that relatively nasty community post, you know, I feel like she could have wrote something else, you know, girl, but okay. I moved here and had a hysterectomy and now I live with my girlfriend, just me and her. I feel like I have changed so much mentally in the way that I handled it. We did say in the back, in the, when she first moved, we said, you know, this could go one or two different ways. She could completely turn her life around. You know, she had a new lease on life since her surgery and moving to a new city, you know, a place that she's wanted to live for quite a while now. It's kind of like a middle ground between wanting to live in California and Becky wanting to live, you know, close to her family, which obviously where she lives is nowhere, nothing like California, but you guys get what I mean. It's more city. It's not completely podunk. Right. So I was a little worried there because I felt like she was kind of doing the same things in the new place, but I do feel like the setting is still there. Still a lot of potential and opportunity things and go about things is like so completely different than how I used to be. Even you guys, because I've been told countless times, you guys can also see that as well, which makes me really happy. You know, we all grow, we all learn from our past mistakes and yeah, we, we just all grow into a different person. You know, I'm someone different than I was a week ago, especially the person I was, say when I was with my ex Crystal or when I was with my ex Destiny. I completely different people. So when I get confronted with, the I was things thinking that about like, okay, let me I've just done in the past repeatedly and repeatedly. It's just like, I was thinking, you know, what exactly is it going to take for her to turn this ship around to not have so many dislikes and so many people that don't like her. So here's a step, you know, acknowledging that she's made mistakes in the past um, a lot of YouTubers get themselves into scandals of sorts. They make their apology videos, but if nothing really changes after that, you know, the apology is the first step, right? If nothing changes after that, if the behavior is still the same, like Amber has been doing for the past year, let's be real. It's been the same behavior on YouTube. So people need to see the behavior change on screen or else the apology which I mean, this isn't an apology, but more of an acknowledgement I see. But if the behavior doesn't change, that's the most important part, right? That's the point that I'm trying to make right now is people need to see something on screen. And I think for her, that's going to be weight loss. Um, we have seen her make a ton of progress this year, right? And you can say whatever you want about 
why that happened or not, but it's still progress. And I think she can take this back into a different direction. I always will think that people can repair the reputations uh, on YouTube specifically, right? There are certain things. And Onision, for example, he's never going to come back from those kind of things. <laughs> but I think that, you know, Amber could, could still do that by showing us. I don't know how many times I can say I'm sorry, but I've changed. It's just, I know that I'll never be perfect, but I also know that I'll never make mistakes I have made in the past because I am a different person. I really just feel like I'm rambling now at this point because I haven't been on here in so long and I haven't talked to you guys in forever. And I do want to say in the midst of me trying to figure my life out, I finally mm -hmm. have gotten, I finally have gotten, I finally have got a ring light and we are using that. She so had to look that up. <laughs> I noticed that she did put a little bit more time. I know this is just like a sit down video or, or whatever, but she did put more time into editing out like lulls in the conversation. I suppose you can tell with like the jump cuts and whatnot and, and the bed, the bed, you guys, is that the bed? That's the bed and it's made and there's nothing on it. Wow. That's incredible. I can't even believe that. Oh, hi, you guys have been telling me for, I can't even tell you how long. Get a ring light, get a ring light, get a ring light. Get and a, a ring light. light. Y'all, I got a freaking ring light. So we're using it's a miracle. it. I can't see myself using it like while I'm vlogging, unless I know, okay, like this is gonna be a long clip or whatever, because like the ring light's huge and it's tall. It's just like this bulky, wobbly thing. But whenever I can use it and it like makes sense to use it, Tote's gonna use it because I feel like it works really well. What do you guys think? So yeah, like, I'm back. Literally totes. And I have missed you guys as well. And I love you guys and thank you for being patient with me and contacting me, seeing if I was okay. I am okay. I have finally just, ah, so much is in my head and I just don't know how to convey it. I just love you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I hope you guys stayed super, super safe. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this here. I'm probably gonna like edit this and be like, oh my God, I forgot to mention something because that happens all the time, but I will be back. Bye. Okay, you guys. So I do see a little bit of an attitude change in her, to be honest. Uh, but like I said, we're going to have to wait and see if the changes that she has promised and said will come to fruition on her channel because that is, you know, the most important part to this kind of thing, trying to change your image, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will of course catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.